So keeping with the burnt sienna and the acrylic glazing liquid gloss, just to glaze over these areas, And I've just added a touch of titanium white here and that will lighten the value and give the colour some opacity. So then I can just work some of the pure burnt sienna into the mix that I've got with the white. And because they're still wet, they'll just smoke in nicely together. So just with the tip of the brush, I just added this touch of pure titanium white. And what this does is it expands the tonal range and gives us a bright highlight to work and judge our other colors against. So with the pure titanium white, I've got a little bit of burnt sienna on it that just slightly warms it. But just by putting in these odd highlights which just give us a sense of the light catching the pot. You can often just use the very corner of a square edge brush, it can just really give that nice little ding Again on the edge here. So then I'm just going to wash my brush out and then start to put in some of the darker brownier hues, still just using this colour palette. So that's with the burnt umber and the burnt sienna and a little bit of white.
Now when painting in the darker tones, the other oranges around it will appear brighter. And we need that dark next to the light to make the light look lighter. And now to get these brighter yellow colours into the copper, when we have a look at the reference, there's still these yellower hues in the centre. I'm going to introduce some cadmium yellow light just so we can boost the chroma a bit and get that nice intensity in the centre of the pot. So then the cadmium yellow will just lift the chroma so it will be more saturated and it will lift the value slightly so it will be slightly um, lighter. So it could be a great colour of paint in the centre of copper. Having this thin yellow line just jumps your eye across to the right hand side of the pot and you've always got to be looking for that variety in the width of the marks that you're making. Just using the real, the real tip, the real edge of the square brush just to get those very fine lines. So here's some cadmium orange, you can see how intense that is, but let's put a little bit on. Again, just on the edge of the flat brush.
here's just a little bit of permanent alizarin crimson. This is from Windsor and Newton. This is a great colour um, for giving a lovely glaze colour. So let's just get a bit of the glazing liquid. And really make sure that your brush is um, nice and washed out. And you can see on this left hand side there's a warmth to it, a ready warmth. So we can just take this, this should be dry. Just work over that colour. Only a little bit, I put out quite a bit of paint, I only need a little bit, and then a bit of the burnt sienna. Just to intensify this colour. I might even just put that over there. And if you wanted to add a subtlety of um, a glow of the blue onto this right hand side, you could just take some of that blue if it hasn't dried off. There's a little bit. Tiny touch of the cadmium yellow light into it. And you only need a little bit of this. And I'd have some paper towel handy because you don't want it to go on too strong. And just take it off with the paper towel so you've just got a really light blush of that blue. Okay, that's great. 